Hello and welcome to the next video. In this video we're going to learn about procedures. You'll learn how to create your own procedures and then how to use them in your own script. Now before we actually learn how to create and use procedures, we'll, we'll have to learn what, it, what procedures are, what they represent. Now everything in computing and programming is built on lower level things. For example, SCAR, the SCAR commands that you used in the previous videos, they actually uh, they're built using the operating system's functions. Uh, so for example, when you use the command click mouse or move mouse, SCAR has to tell the operating system to move the, the pointer of the mouse to a specific point. In the same way, we're going to use SCAR's commands to create our own little commands. So we're just going to use different commands together to build another, like a function. And you'll learn why this is good in a little bit. Now let's start learning about creating and using procedures. Procedures are written between the program name and the, the begin, this last begin. And they will look very similar. The format is very similar to the program format. that will be like a procedure title, a begin and an end, but their own end. And you have to understand that SCAR only does whatever is between this last begin and end. It does not, if you, if you create a procedure here, it will not use it unless you, you tell it to use it in here. So whatever you put in here, remember that, it's really important. Many, many people make that mistake at first. They think that if they write a procedure in here, you know, SCAR will automatically use it, but, but it won't. It'll, come, it'll check for errors and everything, but it won't use it until you actually tell it to use it in here. So let's, let's create a procedure. So I said they, it was similar format to the program, so there's the bold word is procedure. And then you give it a name. So let's give it a uh, same name. Let's give it this name. And you put a semicolon. Then you begin it like a program. And you give it some command. So let's do right line. My name is Jack. All right. And then you, you end it. And notice the semicolon. The semicolon is used for procedures and the last end is used for the last something called the main loop where SCAR reads, com reads what, what it has to do. So now let's use it. To use it just print the name of the procedure kind of like you did with commands like when you when you wanted to use you know move mouse you just wrote the command and you had options. We just don't have options. Some commands in SCAR don't have any options and you just leave them like that if they didn't have an option. So this command, this command that you just created, has no options. So you just leave it like this, say name, and let's run it. See? My name is Jack. And you see that say name doesn't, doesn't you don't see it. My name is Jack anywhere in the main loop. Between here, you don't see it. That's because when SCAR, when SCAR reads for commands, it starts here. And then it reads the command say name. And it checks all the procedures that you have. So it checks, it goes all the way back here to say name and it starts here and it, it reads from top to bottom all the commands until it says end and then it goes back here and continues reading whatever is below this so to show this let's create another procedure and you can have as many as you want just they just can't have the same name so let's let's um, create a procedure say say another name okay and same thing begin and then you can put the commands right here so let's 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 have two commands. Let's uh, say this is the second procedure. And let's write something else. Let's write line. Um, this is another name. Now now we go back here. Remember, we just wrote it here. So SCAR, SCAR sees it, but it doesn't use it until you tell it to use it. So we got to go back here and we got to use it here. Say another name. All right, let's run it. Let's clear first. All right, my name is Jack. This is the second procedure. This is another name. So this is what it did. SCAR started here. It read the program name. Then it read all these procedures. It checked them for, for errors, checked to make sure they were all right. But it didn't use them. Then it get, got here, and it, it read the commands from top to bottom. Start with from here, and it reads say name. Now it checks say name, it checks the commands that SCAR has, like mouse, move mouse, click mouse, and if it's not one of those, then it goes and checks if it's your procedure right here. So it sees say name, it goes all the way back here, and it starts reading from begin, and it reads right line, so it does whatever right line tells it to do, 
and then it ends ends the procedure then it goes all the way back here remember after and it goes all the way back here and it reads the next command next command is this one so it goes back here starts from begin writes this one writes whatever right line tells it to write and then the, the second command also it writes right line again and you know then it goes back here and ends there's no more commands for it and you can reuse a procedure as many times as you want you know it's kinda like a command you used move mouse two or three times in a script before so so you know I can do say name again and it'll do the same same thing except it'll have another see well it's clear so you can see easily alright so my name is Jack this is the second procedure this is another name and my name is Jack again it says the same thing again so so this same name just represents this and since I used it twice, it used it twice. It said it said it twice also. Now you can also have procedures in other procedures, kind of like you know, if you, if you already defined a command, SCAR sees this as part of, as part of all of the commands. So if you define say name as a command, a procedure, then you can use it in here. So let's let's say say name. All right, and let's delete all this. Let's just say. Let's just use say another name, just this procedure. All right, so let's see what it does. We run it. It says this is the second procedure. This is another name, and my name is Jack. Now, what does it do? It goes. It goes to the program name, or reads the program name, then it reads all the procedures, writes them down, keeps them in memory, makes sure they're all right. And then it starts here. This is where it actually does things. So it goes to begin, and it reads the commands from top to bottom, and it reads the first command, say another name. So it sees any other name, and it goes back to your procedure because this is what it means. And then it starts. It starts with the commands right here. So it does right line and right line this, writes in the debug, another right line. So it writes this, and then it sees a procedure name, another command, and it already knows this name because you it, you set it right here. So it sees this. It goes all the way back here and reads the commands from this one and it writes whatever this tells it. And then it ends here. So it goes all the way back here and reads for more commands, but there are none, so it ends. And although you can use procedures and other procedures, you can't use them if SCAR doesn't doesn't know what the procedure is yet. For example, if if we instead of this, if we did um, if we use it right here, say another name, if we use it right here, then SCAR SCAR just reads this. It starts from top. Remember, it starts from top. It reads this same name when it when it's compiling and when it's checking for errors. It reads this. It sees same name, so it goes into the procedure to check for errors. So it goes into right line. It's, it, it recognizes this as one of SCAR's command. Then it reads this and it doesn't know what it is. It doesn't know what say another name means because you haven't defined it yet. It hasn't seen it yet. So let's let's see. It should give us an error. See, we got an error. Line six, unknown identifier, say another name. It doesn't know what this means. It could be, you know, later we'll learn about variables or, you know, it could be a function, it could be anything. So it doesn't know what this is. Now there is a there is a way to, to fix this, to trick SCAR into actually into knowing what this is before it sees it. And this is called forwarding. It's a little advanced. You don't need to use it, but I just want to show you anyway. What you do is before you write any procedures. You go up here before you write any procedures. You go up here, and you type in the procedure name. So procedure, say another name. Then you put semicolon, and then you say forward. Forward and just well, misspell it. Forward. Forward just tells SCAR when it when it's when it. Okay, SCAR reads this from top to bottom. So it starts here. Then it reads procedure, say another name. But instead of, instead of defining, instead of saying what say another name will do. You tell it that you you'll tell it what it will do later, so it knows that it exists. It just doesn't know what it does yet, and this is fine. You know, it'll learn what it does later. For now, we just needed to know what this means so that we can use it in this command in this procedure. All right, so let's run it. See, no errors. It works fine. That's about it for this topic. I know that it can get really confusing sometimes, but um, just keep practicing. This is one of the hardest topics when you're first starting. But you'll get used to it, and you know it won't be any problem in the future. And it's really useful. We're going to use it a lot, and you know it's good to know. In a later video, we're going to go a little more, a little deeper into it. You're going to learn how to create actual commands with options. So, you know, like click mouse head X Y for the coordinates. Well, we'll learn how to do that, and you know we'll learn a little, 
some more things. Uh, for now, just join me next time. We'll go a little, little deeper in another topic. Thanks for watching.